The Galaxy S9 is going to be a graphical powerhouse with the aid of the 845 processor. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and last week I got to check out the 845 processor and run some benchmarks on it because that is the processor that's gonna power the Galaxy S9. No, I didn't get to touch and hold the Galaxy S9 early, sorry there, but I got to check out the 845 processor in some reference hardware at Qualcomm's facilities in San Diego. Now, it looks like it's starting a smartphone, it's got a camera, front rear, it's got a battery, all that fun stuff in there. And we got to use a few benchmark tools like eBenchmark and 2 and 2 to basically go ahead and see how this performs. Now, Qualcomm in the past has talked about the 845 processor and they had their big summit there uh, in Hawaii. Talked about the 30% performance boost that you're gonna be getting with this processor. Now with our benchmark scores, we were getting close to that amount. With our benchmark scores, you can see the score numbers there. And also you can see how it compares to, of course, a previous device like the Razer phone, uh, which has the uh, the Snapdragon 835 processor. Now, um, when you look at our two and two scores, that also looks actually closer to about a 30% in terms of boost there. And it, this thing just ran uh, pretty well. Now again, it's reference hardware. But what we do know that because it's running reference hardware, we can expect to see something similar on devices like the Galaxy S9. So which means you're gonna be doing better gaming if you're a gamer on this device. You're gonna have better gaming processing. Also it's gonna handle UI efficiencies much better you know, with this device. Now, the 845 processor packs in a lot, which I'm excited to see, and I wanna see how that translates to the Galaxy S9. We do know the 845 processor has an uh, improved vector unit, so which means your AI processing also taking images with the camera. The Pixel cameras took advantage of that on the 835 so we can see a huge improvement probably on the 845 uh, processor itself. We also know that this processor has a brand new DSP called Spectra. Spectra enables things like depth perception, better camera imagery, low light photography. Samsung has talked a lot about that in the S9, uh, at least in their, in their invitation talking about the camera. So expect to see improvements in performance all powered by the 845 processor. It's got Aptex HD and you guys know I love my audio so that's the best thing I can do in wireless audio and even got the new um, 802.11ad wireless standard so that's going to be packed in can't wait to see that in the uh, uh, the Galaxy S9 I want to see how all that comes together performance wise for a device like that but our scores tell you what it is and if you like that let me know guys if you have any questions or any comments I'll try and answer them for you otherwise guys don't forget to like and share this video definitely favor this video and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also after you do that notification icon to get notified with our latest videos this is thunder e saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment